Howdy y'all, my name is Prez, I'm coming at you with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, look, let's check this. All right, no birthday today. Tomorrow's the Feast of the Winter Star, so we'll keep that in mind. And we're going to give uh, Willie a diamond, because I heard he likes diamonds just like everybody else does. All right, weather report says uh, it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Feast of the Winter Star. Okay, and... Finally, Forge Teller says, spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. What do we got today? Got a letter. What's up? Hello. Dear Price, tomorrow's the face of the winter star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend, Willie? The feast starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you then. All right. So that means it's going to probably be a quick day. So we might end up with three days this day. Because I remember that that has happened in the past where... Uh, let me put these guys down real quick. Um, where you go to the event, and then all of a sudden it's evening time once that's over. So that may end up happening. So we'll see how that works out for us. Uh, today, I think, well, we're going to still continue to build up our money. We're not quite where I'd like to be. Um, what I want to do is I want to get to the point where I can go and buy a whole bunch more resources from Robin and build a new building. Uh, the shed is what I would like to get built next, I think. I know we've talked about getting the um, horse... Um, what do you call it? Stable as well. But I'd like to get the shed built so that I can um, start moving all of my uh, different devices, whatever you want to call them, into there. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Someone said I could buy a doghouse. I don't know where to buy a doghouse. Can you just buy it from Robin to shift to build it? Or is it something that you pick up from one of the stores and I just don't know about it. Someone let me know in the comments because it's probably not going to end up happening today. Me figuring that out. All right. I think we talked to everybody. Let's get these eggs all where they need to belong. All right, y'all. It's a good old day playing some Stardew. Any day I'm playing Stardew is a good day to me. Oh, man. Full disclosure, I've been playing a lot of the new Mass Effect game and I've been loving it, but uh, it has been eating up all my free time. <laughs> So I'll be done with that soon. All right, we'll give these to Krobus. It's Wednesday, so I could give him one today if I wanted to. And uh, then we've got uh, Friday. We want to make sure to go and buy an Iridium Sprinkler from him. Uh, and I need to look into the whole um, planting of trees Oops, in the um, greenhouse because people made it sound like you could straight up plant them anywhere in the greenhouse, which, if that's true, then, um, I mean, we could really optimize. No, oh, come on. There you go. And last but not least, there we go, the golden cows. All right, let's go put away our, uh, our thing. Do, 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 do. All right. And I'll just, I'll quickly double check our, um, hay, uh, in the, um, silos. Do, 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 do. So Pierre's store is going to be closed, as it always is on Wednesdays. Uh, but that doesn't really change much for us. I have 11 little pads left. Let's just use these real quickly just to just kind of to get them out of the inventory. All right. Put one here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, now, let me... Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, let's deal with the trash and stuff. Put that stuff away. We'll go check in our greenhouse. We'll check on our mushrooms. You know, do all of our chores. Um, this is all pretty well set up the way I wanted. I just need more... Um, sprinklers so maybe I should go down into the mines and get more materials to make sprinklers or I can just buy a bunch of ore from Clint but it is pretty expensive when you buy it from Clint specifically the um what do you call it uh do, 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 do. Ooh, look at all that look at all that awesome specifically the gold is like 400 per ore so it's really like a couple of grand per bar so that's something important to keep in mind all right and let me, let's put y'all away. Actually, we need to start making more seeds from y'all pronto, because I would really like to just have a huge thing of strawberries in the uh, next season. I wonder how many, or what it takes to make seed makers. Right now I'm putting this stuff away because I want to use these for making seeds. Cauliflower seeds, potato seeds, that sounds like stuff I'd be great to have a lot of. What does it take to make a seed maker? Uh, gold bars, coal, and wood. Easy, 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 easy. So I might want to make a couple of those, have a couple of those across the top up there. Uh, let's grab these guys. Oh, sounds like it finished. It did. So they work pretty quickly. I mean, I could sit here, if I had a couple of these, I could just run back and forth between like four of them. And like by the time I filled the fourth one, it would be full. How many seeds did that give us? 
three. So yeah, someone said that the quality of the fruit does affect how it, um, how much it produces for you. Oop. And uh, I do think that that's accurate as well. Okay, let's put you away. Let's grab you. No, no, you and you and put you away. All right. So if it's true, then this one should give us three, or maybe it just has a higher chance of giving us three. Okay, I'm going to leave this guy as is. Like I said, what we're going to do at the beginning of the next season, I'll probably tear down most of the crops, reorganize, restructure, and um, we'll figure that out. Um, what we really would like is to get it organized in a way so that I can now have more of my um, sprinklers here. All right, scrabble, y'all. Dude, nope, no thanks. So yeah, today we may be going down into the mines for a little bit. I think, uh, no thanks. Uh, not the, um, not the mines in the desert because those ones are a little bit trickier, uh, and I don't have everything ready for that. You guys made it sound like I need to be like really prepared going into that, which I get. I get. Let me tell you. Um, all right, let's take all y'all, reorganize real quick. Let me take this trash. Throw it in doo, 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 the recycler machines. Doo, doo. Uh, let's go see if there's stuff now done growing or making rather. All the mayonnaise is nice. We'll run by Krobus's real fast, give him some void mayonnaise, and then we'll spend the rest of the day, I think, at the mine, um, doing a little bit of mining, looking for gold. Uh, let's look at actually, let's see which ones do we need the most of. What do I have and what do I not have? We have eight gold. We have 14 refined quartz, so it might actually be iron, which I have a plenty, I actually have plenty of it. I just need to put back down my um, smelters. I have plenty, okay. That changes things. Ooh, I can make a second iridium ore. <gasps> I could actually make a couple of iridium sprinklers, couldn't I? I totally could. I'm gonna make two of those as well, because that's gonna help us tremendously. All right, where did I put those suckers? We need all y'all back down on the ground real quick. So, now that we have this whole area planned out, I know exactly what to move and when to move it and where to move it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these guys just right back down here. Okay? Just so we have them down for now, because we don't have the shed built yet. We're going to uh, iron ore these suckers. And I might just sit here and fish while I do this, because this is actually probably going to be a better use of my time, is if I'm here where I can see those, once they're done, I stop fishing, and I... Uh-oh. That's a little bit far out there. Um, I stop fishing, and then I will um, head back down, add some more. Same deal. Back and forth, back and forth. Make sure we get all that done. I'm going to do that. That's going to be our plan for today, I think. All right, come on. Although I would like to also go to Robin's and um, check her out. Oh, gosh, that's a tricky one. Oh, he's going to... He's... <laughs> Ain't no way I was catching that one. My goodness, did you see how he was moving? All right, I'm going to go um, up to Robin's real quick. We're going to look at the cost of the shed. I thought I had it written down somewhere, but my notes, my notes eventually they get so built upon themselves, it's difficult. Um, but yeah, I think using two iridium ore to make uh, two iridium sprinklers, we'll buy another one on Friday. It's like, you know, we could use the iridium for other stuff, building the slime hutch and whatnot, but part of me thinks this could be a good use as well. Uh, coop, slime hutch. So the slime hutch needs one. Um, Shed's just 300 wood. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the wood. I'm going to see how much money I have left. Should be a good amount, it looks like. Uh, the question's going to be, where can I put it? I don't think I have a space cleared for it yet. Where would I want it? Hmm. I can try and get her to start building it, because we have plenty of money for it. Although, I don't want to leave myself with that. In two days, I'll need to be able to earn back up to 10,000, or I will have messed myself out of Krobus' stuff again. But we have lots of mayonnaise to sell, so maybe I'll be fine. Um, all right, let's talk to her. Shop. No, not shop. Um, oh, actually, do you sell a doghouse? Do, 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 do. No. Crystal path. Ooh, that could be really cool. Straw floor, stepping stone path, stone floor, wood floor. Okay, lots of different floorings. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Um, I'll have to get those from her as well. But let us construct farm buildings. Oh, I need the mill as well at some point. Oh, I love this music so much, y'all. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. I don't shut up about it. All right. Um, build. Let's see where we can't put this sucker. It's not that big, actually. Okay. Oh, if I could fit it right there, that might be perfect. Oh, 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 this is the perfect spot for it, actually. Because this spot isn't actually used. 
So if I put it like right here, none of these areas are ever gonna be tillable anyways. Yes, right there, perfect. It's close by uh, and then I can run over there and we're at 9,310, so we'll get to 10,000 for sure. Let's go quickly run by Krobuses, let's give them some gifts. And then we're gonna work on more of that ore. That's gonna be perfect. Oh, that's great. I'll, uh, I'll get some more paths to get up to there, but that's gonna be exactly what I want. So cool. Okay, so let's go see Krobus. We'll go back, we'll set some more ore up. Ah, oh, you guys, I'm so stoked, I'm so stoked, I'm so stoked. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I was about to pop into the shop and I was like, nope, it's closed. So these kinds of paths here, like this kind of stone path, I think one of the paths looks somewhat like this. I would like something like that. It's a little more complete. Um, so maybe that crystal path thing. I'm not sure what it's going to be made of, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, Krobus likes the void mayonnaise. Do, 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 do. All right. This is an amazing gift for my people. It is a great honor to receive something like this. Your voice is a little weird there, buddy. That's uh, okay. Crystal floor recipe, wicked statue recipe. The return scepter would be so good. All right. I was going to try and talk to him a little bit. So he sells sturgeon and stuff like that, too. I wonder. I'll need to come check him for um, some of the rare fish during the different seasons. If he sells rare fish, then, or, you know, just fish in general, he could, you know, occasionally have stuff that I really, really want. Do I have the beer on me? I do. So next time I see Shane, which will, I'll come back over here at like 5 p.m. and we'll um, give Shane a beer because we're on a new week now, right? Shane, 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 Shane. Where are you at, Shane, my buddy, Shane? Do, 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 do. You should be pretty high now, right? Are you kidding me? Shane, two. Okay, cool. For a second, I was like, is he empty? Is our relationship with Shane zero? Because that would suck. I feel like I've been working at that. Do, 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 heading home. All right. Grab this. Basically, we're just doing maintenance, right? We got like, what, four days until spring, so it's really more about just prepping for spring. So once I get that shed built in a couple days, it'll be perfect timing. I'll be able to uh, move um, all of these into the shed. And uh, yeah, that'll be great. Oh, I'm stoked on it, y'all. I'm so stoked that that worked out that way. Um, all right, iridium rod. Do, 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 do. So then the question is going to become, how do I want to orient the iridium sprinklers? Because I'm going to have to figure out what their maximum radius is and how to set up a good setup in the uh, greenhouse for them. Do, 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 do. Not today, little one, not today. All right, what did I get? A perch, okay. You're gonna get turned into fertilizer. All right. Do, 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 do. Come on, give me something good. Oop. Oh, you're a tricksy one. Ah. Oh. There we go. What are you? A pike. Okay. Ah, <sighs> the relaxing times of Stardew. I am curious about the doghouse thing now. I'm, oh, I missed that one. I was looking at other stuff too much. I'm curious now about the doghouse. I didn't know that was a thing that you could get, but someone said, get your dog a doghouse, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I never even thought that was possible. Maybe Pierre will sell it at some point? Or I, I would assume it would be Robin, because she builds structures, right? But I haven't seen it before. Oh gosh. Maybe he can, oh, come on. Let me catch you. Let me catch you. You dangus. Gotcha. Another pike? All right, we're the pike catchers. All right, we'll catch one more, and then we'll go head over to uh, the... Uh, bar and go give a gift to Shane. Come on. There we go. Oh, wow. Crazy fish. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 Nope. Not today, sir. Come on. No! Not allowed. No! No! Look how far- Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Stop it. Stop it. It's like he knows. It's like he knows. Stop. Stop. Look at him go all over the place. Oh, I was so close before, too. No, no, no. Okay. No, stop it. Oh, my gosh. You're too fast. You're too fast. It's not allowed. You're too fast. No, stop it. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. Look at him. This is like the fish of all fishes. The kingfish. Is that what you are? Are you a kingfish? Stop it, kingfish. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. You move too fast. Oh, my gosh. 
That's ridiculous. Look at that! Look at that! He's gonna do it again too. I know it. There's not enough there's not enough speed on this rod. It goes too slowly. Look at that! Come on. I'm gonna waste like ten hours trying to do this. Come on. Stop moving so much, you butt. Stop it. You're faking me out. Oh my gosh, Kingfish. Kingfish! Stop it! You are the devil fish. Oh gosh. Oh, come on. Stop. Yes! You butt! A lingcod! Whatever the heck that is! <laughs> Man, what a jerk! Alright, you're going in the fish bin with the other fish. Lingcod, a fearsome predator that will eat almost anything it can cram into its mouth. What a crazy fish that was! Goodness! You know, they gave me a heart attack. All right, let's go to the bar real quick. My goodness. All right. So I'm still tempted. I think I want to make sure to get the iridium in the uh, thing before nighttime. I think I should make iridium sprinklers. Now, I know y'all are probably going to be like, no, Price, save the iridium for other stuff. I get it. I get it. We want the slime hunch eventually. We want. There's a lot of stuff we want. But iridium sprinklers will allow me to organize, to be more efficient, to make that greenhouse even better. I feel like i got to iridium it up. Iridiumize it. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Because I think, because what I can do then is I could probably make it, you could probably cover almost the whole area with, like, maybe four? Um, maybe even less. And then a couple of, like, the regular ones on the corners, maybe? I just don't know the full radius, because I think it's, like, um, a radius instead of, like, a 3x3. A three three, I think it's a five circle, something like that. A circumference five. Um, or a, a diameter five, rather. Um, what am I looking for? Beer. Do 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 There you go, my buddy. Do 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 do. All right, and Pam, cause why not, Pam? Hey hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. Um, anything else I want to give people? I've got some mayonnaises, but I need to build back up my money so I can buy the uh, iridium sprinkler. All right, so tomorrow we give a gift to Willy, and it's gonna be a diamond, cause we have extra diamonds. I've been saving them up. So let's just get this stuff ready to ore it up. And we'll just get going towards tomorrow. And we might try and squeeze this in to be a three-day episode, like I said. Because I think that on the day of the holiday, it should be a, um, a pretty quick one. Uh, we'll do our chores in the morning. We'll get everything sorted. And then we'll pretty much just be going straight to, uh, to bed afterwards, I think. All right. Hold on to um, one void mayonnaise. And I'm going to sell these mushrooms and that mushroom and the algae and the rusty spur. Um... And the seeds, why not? It doesn't matter. Crocus. Okay. And crystal fruits. Okay. And you. All right. All right. All right. Now, let's run up here. We're going to get one void going. And then the rest will be iron. So now we've made it so we can actually make several more. Um, nope. Come here. This guy. Several more uh, sprinklers now. We've got this many. We can actually make eight more if I wanted to. But I'm going to wait until we make the iridium ones first because those also need gold. And I only have 12 gold ore on me so I can make two more gold bars. Okay. Just doing some just doing some mental gymnastics right now. Oh, and let's, uh, let's sell this uh, wool as well. Okay. Uh, someone keeps telling me I need to water my dog's uh, um, dish as well. The reason I forget most of the time is just because why is it out here? I would have it like inside the house or like right next to the house where like I would want the dog to be all the time, but it's like way out here. It's just, it's, uh, it's easy to forget. All right, let's go to bed. I didn't grab any of the cheese, did I? So that'll be sold uh, the next night. Going to sleep for the night. All right. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Money's to be made. Nice. Hey, Santa! Did you see Santa? I clicked OK too fast. I saw Santa! Day 25 of winter, year one. All right. Just double checking. Yep, feast of the winter star. Tomorrow is Clint's birthday, so I'll have to remember to give him something as well. All right, weather report says, uh, expect a few inches of snow. Fortune teller says, spirits are annoyed today. Living off the land says, ever had the urge to dig around your neighbor's trash? Ew. Uh, oh, you, I gotcha. You might ruin your friendship if they see you digging around in their trash. That's good to know. Hey! Perfect timing for that one. All right, let's get some more ore and, nope, uh, doot, doot, okay, and you as well. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll go boop, boop, and then we'll go boop, boop, perfect. Do we have any copper ore sitting around? Nope, all right, that's what I thought. Copper is always the one that ends up being a little bit more limited. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, and then let's take our bait, doot, doot, doot. 
Okay, and you. Okay, and you. Perfect. All right, and let's go check on our eggies. Hi, guys. Hi, Juniper. Good morning. Hello. Hello, hello. Grabbing all the stuffs. So it looks like the rabbits produce wool maybe like once or twice a week. Um, so not too frequently. Uh, and so I'm wondering how often the sheep um, produce wool. I bet you it's a little bit more frequently. So if the sheep has wool today, then maybe it's like every other day the sheep makes wool. So then that would be a pretty nice turnover rate on that stuff as well. Oh, hey, some uh, pine tar. Cool. All right. I'm going to have to do something with these guys too soon. Um, all right. Sheepy, how you looking over there? Nope, still woolless, it looks like to me. Is Gordon big? Are you big yet? You still look like a baby to me. One month baby. Okay. It's all good. All right. So, let me talk to you. Eunice, yeah? Or is it, who is this? Which one are you? Eunice, yay! Aw, and you're Adelia. Okay. And you. They're all so sweet. Okay. I like how I have 15,000 bucks just on the nose. I just noticed that. Perfect amount. And Margaret looks really happy today. Okay. So then, let's put you away and you away where you belong. And let's move along. And let's go like this. Go like that. Okay. And let's put all the milks into the cheese presses to maximize their profitability. All right. Boop, boop. And boop, boop. No, don't drink that milk. There you go. Okay. Moving on, moving on. It's 8.30. So the feast, it's called the Feast of the Winter Star. I think that's what it's called. That starts soon. Um, let me um, sell you, sell you. Oh, I need to go put the eggs in the uh, mayonnaise machines. Do, 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 do. Whoops. Okay. Run, 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 buddy. All right. Here we go. Boop. And boop, boop, and boop, boop. Perfect. Okay, let's quickly go check our, um, yep, Feast of the Winter Star has started. Grab it like that. Uh, and let's go ahead and let me just organize real quick. All right, you go here. Let me do this and that and uh, that. And which one of you has pine tar and stuff? Ooh, that one's a pretty empty little, what used to be in you? This is just like the tree related stuff. What did I get rid of out of there? My goodness. That's an empty, empty little thing. Is she not building this at all? What's going on here? Under construction, it says. I'm confused. It worries me that she's not out here, like, actually, like, knocking on that thing. <laughs> uh, we'll see in a couple days. Maybe I accidentally, like, let me move this guy. Usually she's, like, standing right here, hammering at things. So I'm going to just move this guy up to, like, here, just in case that made it weird. But I still think that's a great spot for it. What do we got in here? Lots of stuff has grown, it looks like. Got a melon. We've got some wheat. Perfect. Parsnip. Parsnip. Um, looks like that might be everything, actually. Okay. This thing's growing. Star fruit! Yeah! All right. We got a star fruit. Uh, I'm going to turn that star fruit into more seeds. Hopefully, we get more. Don't need to drink the beer. Uh, hopefully, we get more than just the... Um, the one, but I'm not going to plant anything else. I'm not going to be turning anything else into pickled stuff. I keep these and sell them. Uh, put all this stuff away. Do that. Okay. Put y'all away. Because again, I, I mostly want to turn all that stuff into seeds. Oh, starfruit seeds. Please tell me you've got more than one. More than one. More than one. Two! Yeah! That's how we do it. Uh huh. That's how we do it. Uh huh. That's how we do it. Uh huh. Put y'all away. Okay. Now, back to the feast. Let's go to the feast. We already did all the things that we need to do today, it seems. So I think we're good. All right, put you all away. And let's just go ahead and do this, because I don't want to miss the feast. How are we doing on hay, by the way? We made it down to 227, so we're still fine on hay. Um, I mean, I know I bought probably 150, 100, 150, something like that throughout the season. Didn't need to, it looks like. Oh! Schmancy! Doot, doot, doot. Oh, it's cute. 
Today's the time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax! Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star! Thanks, Marnie. Speaking of which, I am recording this today on my cousin Marnie's birthday. Happy birthday, Marn. I already so I already told her, but yeah, again. Oh, presents! Humph! I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. What a beautiful tree. Give Willie a secret gift. Oh! So it's you! Ah! And diamond! Thanks! What? Oh, did that end it? Oh! Oh, that just cuts right to this part. Okay. Oh, is Clint my secret person? Hey! Hi. So, uh, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Well, open it. Frozen geodes! Cool, ha! <laughs> That's great. You see frozen geode times five! Thanks, buddy! It's nothing fancy, but it's the best I could afford. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Ah, that's cute. That's super cute. Price! What are you hoping to find under the spirit tree? Um... Let's see. A pair of stylish boots, a jug of spiced mead. Ooh, that sounds nice. Make sure to give me a taste. I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. Oh, she does photography. That's cool. A face for some stupid star. Humbug! Oh my, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing! Oh, hello. It's not a good time of year for a diet. <laughs> I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. Hi, Maru. Hi, Price. Hiya, Price. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Aww. That's sweet. Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. I'll probably get another tool set this year. Huh. What else would you like? I'll get you something nicer. Vincent, can we open presents now? You know it, buddy. Get at it. Hey, good afternoon. Linus, come on! I join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. You're very welcome! It's alright, it's alright. Hey, Abby! Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? Do, do, do. My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Boy, holidays are good for business. I wonder if I could invent some new ones. Oh, Pierre, don't change. Ooh, I've had too much nog. <laughs> I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but me? I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. I get it, bro. <sighs> All these happy families, but for me, just another lonely year. Aw, Clint. It's a fine art making candy canes. You've really got to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They're easy to come by these days. I usually use Fern Island ring fruit for my premier canes, you know. You can't beat the bright red coloring, and it's all natural. Oh, you want to know the secret to my deluxe double canes? Okay, but you've got to promise to absolute secrecy. It's a drop of vanilla in the white candy to complement the cherry flavor. Of course, peppermint candy canes are the standard, and I always make a healthy batch of those as well. Hey, you look like you're falling asleep. Are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Why, hello, Price. It's chilly, isn't it? Gus was just telling me about his artisan candy canes. <sighs> I think he had too much cinnamon nog. All right. Well, I guess that's that, huh? Can we start the feast? How do I start the feast? Or has the feast already started, and now it's just end it when you want to by leaving? Do, 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 do. All right, well, I guess I'm going to get going. Happy Feast of the Winter Star, everybody. The Feast of the Winter Star. There it is right there. Leave the Feast of the Winter Star. Once you do, the festival will end. That's okay. All right, and it's nighttime. Like I said, I knew it. Uh, let's go check for cheese. Yep, had a feeling. Cheese and mayo. Let's get all this stuff ready to be sold. 
And I think we can maybe squeeze in one more day. Hmm, does that sound good to y'all? I know you're saying yes. I know you're saying yes. You're saying, Price, do a super long episode. Keep going. Keep playing. You know what? I'm gonna. Just for you. Just for you, invisible person that I know just thought that in their head. Uh, let's sell one of those and all three of those and all of those. All right. And for now, we're just gonna put away these geodes and let's grab these golds as well. Okay. Hopefully she builds that shed. Uh, maybe she wasn't doing it today because it's a holiday. Maybe that's how it works. Um, okay, cool. I need to actually put away... Because I keep leaving... I don't need this on me right now. Actually, no, I'll put it in the uh, in there. Same with the scythe. Okay, yeah, it's fine. That's fine, it's fine. Okay, off to sleepy times. And I think tomorrow is someone's birthday. Let me just check on the calendar real fast. Yes, tomorrow's Clint's birthday, so Clint is going to like something metal-related, I think. Let's go to sleep for the night. Right? Ores and things, I hope. All right, six grand. That ain't bad. Get ourselves a little iridium sprinkler. Heck yeah. All right. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we know it's uh, Clint's birthday today. Weather report says, welcome to Cozy 5. It's going to snow tomorrow. And fortune teller says, displeased. No mining today. All right. And what does this letter say? Uh, from Gus. Dear Price, I want a big fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know you're almost out of season. So, uh, oh, I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do I have an albacore? Herring, chub, salmon, sardines, smallmouth bass, sunfish, lingcod, perch, periwinkle, pike, bream. I don't think I have an albacore, my friend. Um, so I'll take that quest, but that's not an albacore, is it? Salmon. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to do it because I'm not planning on fishing for anything in particular today. And I don't exactly know where to find albacore. I would assume the ocean, but I have no idea. Oh, this song gets me, dude. It gets me so good. It's 80s, man. Listen to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just love listening to that music. Good morning, everybody. All right. We got uh, some wool today, which is great. Oh, pick up that egg. Get all these. It's a big egg day, big wool day. So I'm going to say it's like every four days, it seems like. Because it seems like the ducks are every two days. Uh, and it seems like the wool always ends up on the same day as a duck day. So I want to say it's every four or maybe even six days. Okay. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze, y'all. I might sneeze. I might sneeze. Oh, no. Oh, no. <coughs> Woo! I think I told y'all last episode, but it is... Uh, spring has officially sprung in uh, Oregon. And as a result... I, are you still baby? You're still baby, Gordon. Don't worry. You'll be a big, big pig one day. Um, so, uh, anyway, my allergies are acting up lately, so I am sneezing all day long, every day. It's a thing. Like, I'm already a pretty sneezy dude. I've just got, like, a sneezy nose, but, uh, well, once, once spring uh, shows up, it's like I'm just in a perpetual state of sneezing. Give my heart a jump start. All right, we got some more wool off the sheep. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, now, let us... Turn some of these into cheese. All right. And, oh, let me put these tools away. And then we'll see if Robin's working on that shed. And if it's not done in, like, I don't know. If, if she doesn't get to it soon, like, if it seems like she's not even touching it, I might have to, um, I don't know, figure out what's going on. It may be glitched out, which would suck. Because if it's glitched out, I don't know if you can stop it. But let's see. Oh, she's building it. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, let's go search in here. And then we're going to run over to Krobus's. Pumpkins! Cool. All right. Part of the reason I'm not planting anything is I don't know if they um, grow cross-season. Um, so that's like the one thing I'm concerned about. But uh, but we shall see. Ooh, I got a pepper plant. Nice. And got a lot of corn plants, too, out of the mixed seeds. So that's cool, be just because those things will also continue to grow. I could keep them around if I wanted to. Um, but we're going to see. We're going to see. So let's... Um, wow, we have too much stuff in here. Um, all right, let's start turning more stuff into seeds. Okay, pumpkins away. Eggplant. What else can I get rid of? Let's, um, let's take this bok choy, turn it into... Um, 
We're going to turn this strawberry into seeds. And we're going to turn this bok choy into pickled vegetables. And then we'll um, we'll also turn it into seeds as well, I think. Or, nah, you know, we'll just pickle it. We'll just pickle it. It's fine. Bok choy is one of, like, the cheapest seeds there are. Um, and I need to make another chest for in here anyways. Oh, seeds are done. That's fine. Okay, so Robin's doing that. That's great. We have enough stuff to make plenty more sprinklers if we want to keep this set up. But with the with the iridium sprinklers around the corner, mm -hmm -hmm. let's go see Krobus. Do I have my voids? I do have my voids. Perfect. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of hiya. Hello, Pam. How are you? Hiya. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, hitting the ground with a hoe. It's what I do. Would you like this? I've already given you two gifts this week. That's fine. Have a nice day at work. Hopefully someone shows up to take the bus. All right. Do, 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 do. Heading over this way. Okay. Oh. hey -ya! Okay. And let's go to Krobus. What is up, Krobus? Give me that sprinkler good. Give me that sprinkler good. All right. Hmm. This is an amazing gift for my people. It is a great honor to receive something like this. Yeah! Nice. That's so good. I'm so happy that there's a consistent, convenient way for us to get iridium sprinklers. It's just, oh, that's so good. Because iridium is just so hard to come by. Just so hard to come by. Now, if I put this on my bar... Does it show me the area of effect? It doesn't. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it down, and we're gonna we're gonna have a test day. Um, well, I guess it won't be a test day really, because it needs to have stuff on the ground for it to actually water. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I think it does, uh, and I'm not gonna use it. I will. Um, I won't actually put it down today. I'll put it down. Or I'll put it down today for test reasons. But I'm not actually going to um, leave it here. This is just me showing what I think it does. But I'll look it up in between episodes. So I think what it does is like this. Um, something along these lines. I'm not positive. But I think this is what it does. It might do more than that. I hope it does. Like it could be something like even... It might be this actually. Right, so it's like a slightly bigger version of what it already was. So it doesn't do like a full, um, whoops. It doesn't do a full five by five, but I think it does this area, which allows you to, you know, much more sparsely spread them out, right? Because if that one goes there, I can do one, two, one, two. I could put one like here, right? And then it would fill a pretty nice big area. So I think that's what they do. Not positive, but I think so. Okay. Oh, and I know someone in before, uh, in a previous, or in the comments, was concerned that um, me putting down all the sprinklers was bad because uh, it was, I was potentially breaking them and losing them, but uh, it doesn't. Uh, you totally can just pick them up with your um, pick just fine. Just fine. Okay. So, I'm just trying to think for the rest of today, because we're still waiting on that shed to be done, and we've already done all of our chores and things. There's not a whole lot I can do right now. Um, let's sell the mayonnaise. Sell the cheese. Ooh, let's get that wool spinning. Get that wool spinning. Yeah. All right. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I could, I honestly, part of me just wants to get through the day as quickly as possible so that I can move on to um, spring soon and actually be utilizing this stuff. I wonder, like, one of them out front here would cover, like, a nice big area. Like, this guy right here would cover all the usable space here, right? That's pretty cool. All right, but I'm going to have to look all that stuff up. Let's, uh, let's work on seats while we wait. That'll be something to do. Good use of our time for the day. All right, Stwabwes. So let's try and get some corn seeds, some pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds would be great. Uh, we have 10 strawberry seeds. Nice. Because, um, again, I think strawberries are worth even more than cranberries or um, blueberries. So if I could have a huge thing of those, that would be amazing. So then, yeah, as far as trees are concerned, apparently I could plant, like, a tree, like, right here, right? And then, like, one, two, like, right here. And I could just plant trees all around the edge here, which if that's true, holy butts, that's crazy. We got two corn seeds that time. Awesome. 
Um, what do they need? They need like one gold bar, ten coal, and a bunch of wood. Don't know if I want to waste the gold, if I'm honest. Okay. Alright, and that's good. Alright. How's this guy doing over here? Ancient seed. Still growing? Hope you are. It should, if I planted it... No, wait, no, that's right. I planted it in the middle of the season. That's right. Um, so hopefully it continues to grow. I don't even... Yikes, I didn't even think about that. If things die at the end of the season, I might have killed it. We'll find out, though. We'll find out. All right, just a couple more seeds going. We got one pumpkin seed off of that. Not great, not perfect. Not exactly what we wanted. We got five corn seeds, though. That's nice. But yeah, I think the iridium guy... Oh, mixed seeds. What? What? From a golden pumpkin, you give me mixed seeds? You butt. You butt. Rude. All right, let's, uh, let's make some beer. What a butt. I don't think, can you pickle wheat? I don't think you can. Oh, you can. All right, well, there you go. Not bad. Okay. More corn seeds. All right. Um, so I don't know if I should try and use the melon to grow melon seeds. Um, let's get some more. Let's turn these regular hops into seeds. Let's get some just regular old hop seeds. Um, so yeah, now looking at this space, if it is a, I think we figured out it's like a, a 10 by 11 or something like that. Let's see. It's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's a 10 by 12. So... I'll have to, what I'll do in between episodes, I always have graph paper in front of me. Uh, I am going to go online. I'm going to find out what the useful radius of an iridium sprinkler is. Uh, and then I'm going to figure out exactly the best layout I can come up with for this whole space uh, in between. And uh, that'll be our plan to build towards um, going forward in the future. All right, let's just put away more seeds. Okay. Again, right now, it's all focused on building up our seed bank, and then we'll just, once we have our optimal setup, we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to take these guys out of here and these guys. Um, once we have our optimal seed setup, then it'll just be about maintaining and continuing it forward um, with crops that continue to grow on their own, because I think that's probably the best use of it, is to have the, um, the cranberry seeds and stuff like that continue to grow. Okay. Let us put away those guys. So that was a good haul, at least. Let's put away the mixed seeds. Potato. We're going to turn you into some seeds as well. Okay. And now I'll head out of here. Uh, I'm going to grab... Hmm, I was going to grab some of these sprinklers, and I realized I still need the water for at least one more day. But we're going to probably clear out most of that stuff uh, between the next couple of days. Um, all right. What was I going to do? What was I going to do? I had something I wanted to do. Aha! Well, I need to make another loom as well. A couple of them, actually. Would be nice. All right. Let's go ahead and sell the that. We'll sell. Yeah, we'll just sell these off now. Um, crocuses could be good gifts, but they're also fine doing that. Okay, and let's take this trash. Let's turn this into goods. Give me some quartz. Give me some something else. Coal or, or wood. Uh, put away the periwinkle. Put away the stone. Um... Iridium sprinkler, I'll just hold on to for now. Okay, well, I mean, I think we're kind of in as best a position as we can be right now. Um, we're just waiting a couple days till spring starts, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and go to bed for the evening. Uh, and we're just going to call it there for today's episode. We got through three days in a single episode, so that's a uh, pretty big ask, but uh, it ended up being roughly the same. Oh, I never gave Clint a birthday present! Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! That's why I'm glad I got that calendar. Gonna go give a gift to Clint. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Hopefully he likes diamonds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo! That's fine. That's fine. He should be at the bar. We'll go give him his happy birthday gift. He's going to be super happy about it. He's going to be like, oh, I thought everybody forgot. And then I'll be like, no worries, my friend. No worries. We got you covered. Oh, boy. Oh, man. That stressed me out a little bit there. I kind of started to freak out because I was like, oh, no. I always forget the birthdays. Man, having that calendar is going to be so good. I'll check it every time when I get up and every time before I go to bed just in case I forgot. Perfect. Oh, no. Where is he? No, he's usually here. Crap, where's Clint? Do, ding, do, ding, do, ding, do, ding, do. Isn't he usually here talking to somebody? Dang it. Uh, where's his house? Does he live in his, um... Oh, there he is! Ha-ha! 
Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks, this is nice. You're very welcome. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round. Depressing, huh? No, that's fine, man. I get it. Hey, Benny. Are you friends with Linus? He lives in a tent up in the mountains. Everyone ignores him, the poor guy. He's actually really nice, just a little odd. Must be so cold to live in a tent this time of year. That's true, that's true. All right. Yeah, we have, a, we have a problem with that here in Portland, where when it gets really cold, it's pretty pretty rough out there. Um, all right. Do, 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 do. Let us go and end our day. It was a successful one, I would say. Wouldn't you? Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Grab you, grab you. Nope. Boop. All right. Off to the land of Nod. All right, y'all. Well, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Uh, I think we got a lot of stuff done, and uh, we are marching handily, handily towards the spring. We're going to have our shed set up soon, and then from there, we're going to be able to f put all of our stuff in there, all of our junk, so then we don't have to have that all taking up spot on our ground, and then I can, you know, build stuff accordingly to that instead. So uh, things can be a nice farming area outside. It'll just be a little bit uh, a little bit prettier to look at. And then I can also get that um, crystal flooring from Robin sometime soon, figure out what that costs, and maybe we'll switch that over for our stone paths. But with all that, thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. My name has been Price, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>